What's the sit rep, Manu? Pirates snatched the captain while we were busy on shore. They want money, same as always. Let me guess, they're not getting any. Not this time. The weapon's free if the cap's in imminent danger. Three jacked up skinnies with AKs on a pitching lifeboat isn't imminent danger? Hey, what can I tell you? Someone thinks there's a legal solution. Looks like we're onto something solid here. Stay ready. I may have a job that's right in Mako's wheelhouse. Roger, Dusty. Gonna be a little longer for the feed. There's some bad weather that side of the marble. Storm's coming. Red light or green light? Green, brother. Always green. It is PETN we're seeing. And the kind used in Madrid is of similar composition to more recent attacks that haven't made the news yet. So the connection is real? And Sato Dane is involved. We'll see. That fucker turned into a ghost overnight. But we've learned a few things. Intel's pointed to the PETN moving through tribal areas to couriers in Afghanistan and beyond at the request of someone known only as the Cleric. That sounds vague and ominous. So we follow it back up the chain. Right. Remember, you're in Pakistan. There's a line you don't cross. How close to the line can we get? So close you got chalk on the cleats. Check your email. You're looking for Faraz Iqbal Khan. He's a JV gunrunner who wants to make varsity. He has his hands on everything from knockoff AKs and Russian optical devices to cell phones and black market kebabs. Why him? Oddjaw's been watching Faraz and it seems he's been busier than usual. Now we're seeing more modern equipment and the PETN. Remember, you're on your own here, and Oddjaw is not on the best terms with the ISI. So let me be clear, don't get caught. So get settled and hook up with Oddjaw. Faraz is a target. Find him. I'll be in touch. <laughs> 